Could you spell your last name for me, please? Um, H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Okay. And your date of birth? 831. Okay. Today your doctor has ordered some lab work, um, and I'm going to be collecting it with a finger stick. Have you ever had that done before? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you right or left-handed? Left-handed. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll um, take the specimen from your right hand. Select an appropriate puncture site. The lateral side of the tip of the middle or ring finger of the non-dominant hand is usually used. Put on disposable gloves. A plastic capillary tube or a plastic coated glass tube with heparin is used to collect blood from a finger stick for a microhematocrit test. The blood flows into the tube through capillary action and the heparin inside prevents the blood from clotting. Shake the container until a capillary tube pops up. Repeat to obtain a second tube. Sanitize the site with an alcohol wipe. Allow it to dry completely. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take your fourth finger. All right, just going to cleanse it now. While the alcohol is drying, remove the cover from the end of the lancet. The tip of the lancet must remain sterile and not touch anything. Hold the lancet in your dominant hand and the patient's finger in your non-dominant hand. Press the lancet against the finger to trigger the lancet to incise the finger and retract. Blood should flow freely from the wound. Immediately discard the lancet in the biohazard sharps container. Always wipe away the first drop of blood with a gauze square because the blood can contain tissue fluids that dilute the blood and alter test results. Okay, these are just capillary tubes. Touch the tip of the capillary tube to the drop of blood. It will begin to fill the tube by capillary action. Repeat with the next drops of blood until the tube is about three quarters full. Fill the second capillary tube the same way. If blood flow stops, it may be helpful to massage the finger or lower the hand below the elbow. After both tubes are full, ask the patient to hold a gauze square and apply pressure to stop bleeding. Thank you. Seal one end of each capillary tube by inserting it in clay. Discard the gauze square in a biohazard waste container. Okay, Check the puncture site to make sure it has stopped bleeding and apply a clean strip bandage to protect the wound. Today, resume all your regular activities. Remove and dispose of the gloves and sanitize your hands. Thank you. Have a good day now. You too, thank you.